Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are heading across southern Indiana, making about a drive, hour and ten minutes, over to Greene County. We're going to go to the Greene Sullivan State Forest and check out some strip pits. Now, I used to fish these a little bit when I lived over on this side about 12, 13 years ago, I guess, before we moved further east. But uh, this is an area that's full of a bunch of old mined out strip pits, and there's probably a hundred different little lakes and ponds that have, you know, been filled in. But uh, I hadn't been here for so long, but it's kind of a place that you forget about. But I used to take the boys fishing over here when they were little, back when we had our old low 1605. And I've been wanting to get back over this way for, for quite some time. So I figure, hey, I got the day off. It's a Friday. Let's, uh, let's try to beat the rain because typical southern Indiana at the end of April and the beginning of May, it's always, you know, 80 degrees one day and you wake up, it's 32 degrees in the morning. We should probably stabilize out here in the next three or four weeks where we start, you know, having lows in the 60s and then it's staying a constant 60, 70, 75 degrees until summer gets here and that's when our bass fishing really heats up. And again, we don't have a ton of big monster bass, you know. The biggest bass I've caught over the last several years has been around the five pound range. But hey, I'll take a steady diet of two and a half, three, four, four and a half pounders with the occasional five. And maybe, hey, maybe this will be the year we get lucky and, and you know, come across a nice six pounder. I mean, that'd be awesome. But we're going to be mixing it up quite a bit this year, going back and forth between the kayak and the boat, chasing largies for the most part. But I have a trip a little farther north coming up here soon to do some smally fishing with my brother. So we'll see how that goes. But this month we are in another kayak bass fishing charity event tournament, raising money. Now this one's nationwide, so I'm I'm not even going to pretend to 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 compete. You know, it's it's really we're raising money, but we're we're fishing against guys from Florida, Texas, everywhere else where they've got some monster fish but hey who cares we're fundraising raising money for a young man uh cash hicks who really needs it so on my part it's it's a donation but we're also doing once again the state challenge for indiana last month we came in 12th which you know, really surprised me you know had had i gone out more than five or six times man we could have cracked that top 10 but i figure hey if we're out fishing public waters We'll upload some fish and, and see where we go. All that being said, it's all in good fun. I'm dedicating this year to go out and fish a lot of different places in Southern Indiana so that anybody either in this area or visiting this area, say if you're going to school at IU and you're looking for different places to fish, I'm gonna do some different videos and you know introduce you to some, to some of the various places we have around here, break down different water. But Green Sullivan State Forest is kind of in a out of the way location. But like I said, there are there are several there are several pits that's supposed to have really good fish in it, according to friends of mine that I work with who grew up in this area. I'm gonna start with one of the bigger ones, and then we might fish there for half a day and then go check out one of the other ones. We'll just we'll play it by ear and see what happens. But I plan on throughout this season, you know, hitting this place a few different times and just introduce it to you and maybe help you if you're in the area, come out and find some other places to fish. So with all that said, let's get over there, get set up and see what we can find. drove to the far north end of this particular body of water I see lots of weeds starting to come up lay downs looks very nice and I literally just saw bass chasing a shad 
think it's a little after 10 o'clock. So I'm going to grab this frog and start picking apart this stuff. The water's really clear. So I've got a lot of natural colors tied on. But hey, let's see what we can get into. Two hours later. I'm just going to try to make a long cast to pull some fish up from the bottom. Fish yet. This is crazy. There's just so much. Summer. Yo. You wanna know my biggest accomplishment is all this shit happened? What's that? Oh, fish! Fish! Hold on, I got a fish. I got. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know if I got a good hook in him or not, but I need to catch this motherfucker. Come here. Get in the net. Get in the net. Get in the net. No, no. Get in the net. Okay. I got the first one on the board. Dude. Here's our first fish of the day, Keeper. Gotta love that. I'm using this green pumpkin stick bait because the water is so clear. Throw it near stuff and just let it dance and dart as it as it comes through the water. This rod by Dobbins this is actually designed for Senkos, Flukes, spinner baits. Has just enough of a tip to make the bait dance. But enough backbone to really set the hook and manage the fish. I kind of want to get in and see if I can't skip this under that branch and get it back into that little shut. Get it back under that little shadowy pocket over there. Let's see if we can angle our way over here without. There we go. Water so clear the fish may be on the the shadier sides of the bank. So we got one 15 inch fish. That's a good start. <laughs> Nothing like that 19 inch monster we started last month with, but hey. Yeah, 15's a good solid start around here. You even have a hook in you, little dude. Little binkers. Land of the baby fish. It's a group of fish moving in front of me. I'm kind of chasing. See a bunch of little bitty bass sitting there on the end of that point right here to my left That might be a keeper. Mm. 
Yep. That's a keeper. You go ahead and hop on in my net right here for me, homie. That's a better fish. That's a whole lot better fish. Nice little chunker. I was hoping the rain would be done. <laughs> I know, me too. All right, here we are at Bob's on a, what is today, Tuesday. Trying to get a quick John out, get some more fish on the board. We've got three on the boards this month. I just need three more keepers and then we'll start trying to get big from there. A ton of bass boats here, so there might be a club tournament going on. Or a local Tuesday nighter. But most of the places I like to fish look open. It was in the 60s all day. It's already down to 59. But the water temp is 63, so that's better. Flat that runs up along this bank. So it's a point that I come back to quite often. Don't see anybody chasing right now, but hopefully by sundown. Now we have a cold front coming through. Wind picked up. It's already down in the upper 50s water temperature is almost 64 though so that's good Anything close to the bank is going to get nasty because of all the algae in the water. Alright, little 14 incher on the jackhammer to get us started. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 